Finally, I think it's about time we do a review, don't you? Come on then, let's get it done. Hello and thanks very much for joining me. I'm Dean the Vaping Bike here. Today we've got a look at an RDA and yes, I know with this whole thing going around in the UK at the moment, um, I did write an article about the current RDA potential restrictions thanks to the TRPR. Go, in over to, go over to uh, vapingbiker.co.uk and check out my article about that one um, with the title something like uh, Is it the last of RDAs in UK shops? Go and check that out and go and have a read if you're interested. I've tried to be factual on that one. It's it's not an opinion, it's based on the information that we have to hand at the moment and highlights where we need to get more clarification. Anyway, that being said, today we're going to be doing an RDA review. Today we're going to be looking at this puppy right here, which, which isn't focusing. It always focuses when I do that. I feel well dramatic. Um, but this is the BMI Nova. I've got it sitting on top of my Abstract Mods Stabwood box at the moment. And uh, yeah, it's, it's interesting. It's an interesting one. Before I go and uh, ball the pants off you already, uh, let's dive down up close so we can have a little tour around this bad boy and I can show you how it works. Plus, how I'm going to put some coils in it because it's a little bit of a pain in the ass. Come on then! Okie okay, Koki with the white background once again. It's been a little while since I've used it, so I thought I'd dig it out again just for shits and giggles. Now then, here's the box for the Nova BMI. Big old nautical star on the front there. Nova BMI going on there. Nothing on the rest of it at all. Follow us on Instagram. That's your lot. And then when you crack that open, you will see that you do have the RDA, which we will, as always, come to in a little while. And then if we break open those spares bags, um, hold on to your seats, lads and lasses. Here we go. Look, there it is. Three O-rings and two post screws. Easy now. Calm yourselves. Very, very exciting, obviously. Now then, here we go. Here is the dripper itself. Now, I did give it a bit of a clean, um, but that's why it's uh, it's looking a bit funky. Um, I think this is the right drip tip for it, rather than one or something else. I'm sure it is. But uh, I haven't been using it purely because it's brass, and I'm not a massive fan of brass drip tips, so uh, that's why it's a little bit different. Now you will see that the base here is uh, is a polished stainless steel, which is exciting because it started off life, didn't start off life with all those fingerprints, but it did start off life as, uh, as gold. So that's nice, gold plating and uh, cleaned it and uh, off that came. So <laughs> that's the end of that. Um, we do have a very nice protruding 510 pin there, as you can see, so nice and safe for hybrid devices. And then underneath, we do have a little bit of information there saying it's a BMI Nova 24 mil and all of that good stuff. If you want to have a read, you can pause on that if you want vape house in Russia. Now then, let's take this bad boy apart, shall we? Come on, you bugger. I should have lubed them up when I put them back on. So there we are. I've taken it apart off camera just because it was much easier. This is the deck which we'll look at shortly, but I'm looking at this top cap. You do have the airflow control ring here, giving you single or dual coil. And uh, if you want to, you can pop out this drip tip. And it is a goon size, so you can pop your goonie bad boys on there if you so wish. I've been using a gold DHD one, which I've put somewhere safe. So just for the moment, what I'll do is I'll pop in a, uh, a white DHD one. There we go. That's what it looks like with a uh, with a, a white DHD tip in there, which is very, very nice. Now, then the barrel itself, just a plain barrel. Uh, something to be aware of when it comes to these. I will try to remember to show you how I polish them. But uh, please make sure that you keep the inside of this barrel nice and clean, as well as obviously the inside of this top cap, because they are brass, they will patina, and uh, we don't want that to happen. You don't really want to be breathing all that sort of malarkey in. Now then, here we are with the deck. We do have a reasonably deep juice well, considering we've got a postless, uh, postless deck. Normally, we're not used to seeing any juice well at all when it comes to the postless affairs, so it is nice to see a little bit of something. You do have your screws, two on that side, and two on that side and that's obviously how we have access to the holes on the top like so now what you will see on this is that you've got your positive side on this one obviously with this massive and uh, quality amount of uh, insulation you've got there and then obviously the other side is milled in the deck so therefore is the negative you will see that in those holes those screws are not very big so if you do have a thinner wire that you're hoping to put in there as a build you may have a few issues trying to capture them with the those screws. It has taken me on a couple of occasions a little bit of jiggering around um, just to kind of move things about enough to 
to uh, to get them caught. I've got there in the end, but it is just a little bit of a pain in the hoop, so make sure that you are um, situated nicely. Now, obviously, what this does mean is that you can use this. Um, you can put dual coil in, four coils in, one coil in, whatever you fancy. You can put three in if you're feeling extra fruity. But um, what you've got here, obviously, is you've got your airflow coming in from the top cap. So ordinarily, you'd have your positive here, negative here, which would mean that the coil would be going that way. So we'd pop the airflow on that way, for instance. Da -da -da, go on. I'm going to regret this. I'm going to regret this. Absolutely. There we go. And then we've got the top cap, which has got the single O-ring to go on over the top of that. And then obviously you do turn that. Now there is no knurling on there. So without this being knurled, without the O-rings being super uh, uh, super juiced up and lubed, um, it's an absolute, you can't, you just can't turn it. It's just not happening. I'm not, you know, that's it. That's as far as I'm getting. So uh, just be aware of that and make sure you lube up your O-rings. Anyway, that's about it. There isn't really a great deal else I can tell you when it comes to the uh, the dripper itself, to be honest with you. We do have the gold uh, gold plated deck, 24 karat gold apparently, um, for maximum conductivity. We do have peak insulators going in there and it is 24 mil across. So hopefully that will uh, tell you a little bit more going on there. So let's get a build in there and we will go right up top. Now then, on the install of this coil, this gave me the opportunity to show you something that I was talking about. Can you see what's going on down here in this uh, in that post hole right there? Let me see if I can zoom in a little bit more. Even though I've got one of these marvellous, dirty, great big aliens um, coming in from, let me show you who it is, just so you know, in case you want to go onto his Instagram and check out his coil, MTN Coils, all of this sort of malarkey there. Have some of that. There we go. Very nicely packaged and very good. Anyway, um, oh, that's out of focus. Now then, are we going to go back into focus? Are we going to go back into focus? There we go. Yeah, we can see here that um, the screw is completely bypassing. It's twisted the wire and has completely bypassed it. So uh, yeah, it's not being properly, properly captured. So I've now got to undo this screw and uh, pop it back in again. Also, just something to be aware of as well, because I've lost screws on many of occasions on these. Um, they don't actually, if I pop this in and just try and catch the very first thread, um, they don't sort of appear to come all of the way out of the post hole. You can see that just poking through there and that's literally just been caught on the uh, on the thread. Um, so if you try and clear that post hole just because, I don't know, something that I do, um, then you will lose screws and be scrubbing around on your hands and knees looking for the little bastards uh, because I may have done that once or twice. Anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to carry on, pop this, uh, pop this coil in properly. I'm going to place this one in as well. By the way, when I do pop my coils in, what I tend to do just to make things nice and symmetrical is I get the coil on a uh, coiling rod like so and I will then pop it in and I'll leave the coil rod resting um, on top of the uh, the sides there of the deck. That gives me a little bit of height on there, especially once you pull them up, once they've uh, been uh, been captured properly. Anyway, that's, uh, that's how I'm going to build it. And we will go back up top once it's all done. And Wick is just going to go everywhere in there. Like, everywhere. See you in a minute. So that was the up close and personal tour around the BMI Nova. B yeah, BMI Nova, that's right, Nova from BMI, RDA. And uh, let's have a little a toot, shall we? Or at least I would do. There we go. Um, 70 watts coming through. This is it came through at a 0 0.12. So I'm rocking it on a. Uh, I'm rocking it on the old uh, regulator yee -hee abstract mod. Mod. <laughs> Not bad at all, not bad at all, but this is only a 26650 single battery, and I do think we need, but I just wanted to put it on this one because look how much it is, look at it. Doesn't it just look awesome, doesn't it? Doesn't it? I think I look like it great. But uh, yeah, I can't do that because if this coil that's in here now means that it needs a little bit more get up and go. So let's have a little look at the challenges while I'm screwing this on here shall we first of all what I'm going to do is I'm going to take off this brass drip tip because it gets hot as balls and uh, and, and it annoys me and I don't like brass in my mouth but I did find my gold DHD drip tip and uh, look at that look at that doesn't that look great I like that a lot so that bad boy is staying on there for today now then 
So the coil, the coil thing is a gigantic pain in the ass. The screws are basically too small for the holes that they're going into, which means that um, even capturing the leads that I had on this required me to get tweezers. Once I got one leg in, I had to get tweezers to make sure that the other leg stayed straight and then we'd get, get uh, sort of grabbed by the screw. And it was just a gigantic pain in the ass. When in the past I've done round wire builds, even more of a pain in the ass, particularly, I would say 24 gauge and below. Um, and so, yeah, it's just, it's just a royal pain in the hoop. Now then, based on that as well, what else is, a in fact, should we just have a vape? Let's have a little vape. 88 watts on this bad boy now. And that's not bad. That is with the air fully open. I have obviously lubed up the O-rings so I can actually move them now, which is nice. Um, but uh, yeah, here we go. So is there anything else negative? That gold plating on the deck after cleaning it, what? Why would the gold plating come off? I don't get that. Oh, and I did say I would show you how I clean it. Basically, I think I've mentioned before, all I do is uh, when I'm cleaning the inside of a barrel is I've cut a square of uh, microfiber cloth. I bung the middle of the microfiber cloth down in the drill. I then coat the inside of the uh, of the RDA cap with uh, whatever I'm using to clean it with. And then basically it looks dodgy, but I do that, start spinning the drill, and then that'll kind of twist the uh, microfiber cloth into a cylinder and then you can feed on the barrel so then you can just clean the ass out of it without having to do that the whole time and feel like you're just poking something <laughs> Well, um, so yeah, you can run it through and get a decent shine on it. Um, that's the best way and easiest way I've found to clean the inside of an RDA anyway. Now then, so those are the negatives and they are quite significant negatives in my opinion. The, the, the gold at the bottom, I can kind of deal with. I mean, I can't see how gold that thin is going to um, make anything kind of... Um, you know, I, I can't see how that's going to help in conductivity when it's that thin. I think that's that's going to be utter rubbish. Um, and the post holes are an absolute nightmare and just an absolute sod to use. But uh, having said that, now then, actually vaping on it if you're lucky enough to actually get a coil in there. Now I've shut the airflow down just a touchy poos and let's have a little uh, vape again. Certainly cloudy, flavour isn't bad at all. I think it does help that underneath that top cap there, we do have a little bit of the doming. You may have seen that when we did the uh, up close portion. It kind of, it does, it's not a sort of a smooth dome, it's more of an angular thing. But uh, I probably should put some juice on there. I'm using Wick Liquor, Deja Voodoo by the way. Um, yeah, I mean, I... <sighs> I, I, I imagine that a smooth conical shape would help even more. Hey, hey, uh, um, but uh, but yeah, I mean it, it's fine. It's fine. Um, now then, let's have a little. Uh, let's have another, another one while I think about what I'm saying. Now then, because you do have quite the tall um, barrel going on on this one, when you do take this off, when you pop your coils in it, I would strongly suggest lining up your lining up your top cap or your, your barrel, sorry, with the uh, deck and make sure you place it on the plinth that it sits on because um, you need to make sure that your coil height, I could have done with the coils being a little bit higher on this one, to be honest with you. If I show you up close-ish, can you see that? Can you see where that air is happening? I could have done with, personally, the coils could have gone just a hint higher for, and that would have helped the flavor experience in my uh, in my time using that. That's what I've found anyway. Um, uh, what else, what else, what else, what else, what else? I've said the negatives. Brass could be a negative for some people because it does require cleaning. It does require a lot of aggro. They do actually offer, and I did just click onto it, they do do a, uh, the Atti is made of brass, then Cerakoted graphite matte black. So uh, there's the plain brass one or the black one, but it's still brass. So you're not going to get away with not being able to clean it. Um, yeah, it's, it's a bit of a worry. 
I think with the, uh, the 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 metal top cap as well, the AFC, um, that does get rather warm. I mean, you expect an atomizer to get warm if you're running a low build and high temperature through it. Um, that's you know that's normal, that's science. Um, but uh, it it is quite noticeable on here. Um, hence one of the reasons why I don't like using the brass uh, mouthpiece or the drip tip that comes with it, and I prefer to pop this one in. Um, but even then, I still have to make sure my little delicate little kisses don't go right up against the uh, the top cap there um i think it's an all right rda if you can be asked with uh with doing the coiling business because they having that sort of extra juice capacity with that slightly deeper deck is great um but uh, and i think it looks great i think it looks great the vape experience is pretty reasonable it's not it's not mind-blowing it's nothing kind of radically different or suddenly a flavor explosion or whatever else but it's all right so if it's the sort of thing that tickles your fancy that's one thing now then the uh, mine came to me from Ohm's Distro in the UK, which is distribution. So um, depending on whatever's going on with those guys and uh, whatever's going on with RDAs in law currently, um, if if we can use drippers, then they're the people to go to get your vape shop to uh, to get them in stock. Now then. Um, Everybody's showing in the UK. Everyone's showing out of stock because a lot of people have pulled their RDAs off the shelves. It does say though that our vaporrange.com in America has them for seventy-five dollars. So seventy-five dollars for something that is a bit of a faff and is a you know a reasonable vape. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean. I like the fact that with the extended 510, it looks great on uh, on brass uh, brass mods. If I pop it on top of, what can I pop it on top of that's reasonably clean? Um, well, this one is not clean, but it's not got anything on top of it. Um, popping it on top of the twisted there. That's how I rocked it when I was at Vape Jam. Twisted is way darker because it's way dirtier. But uh, I think it looks fantastic. It really looks good and great on hybrids. But, you know, $75? I think it's overpriced. I, in fact, it is overpriced. It's overpriced. Uh, however, if it's the sort of thing that tickles your fancy, people like spending money on all sorts of things. And this is why you should go and check out multiple reviews. Um, but personally, for me, I find with the screw size being the way it is, um, with the the rubbish, just crap gold plating on the, on the deck there, um, I think that it's charging a bunch of money for something that it may not or should not potentially be charging that money for. If this was coming in at around the 50 bucks mark, um, then possibly I'd have been a lot happier with that. But that's about it. That's about all I can say about it, really. It's a pretty reasonable vape. Um, once you get your coils in there, it's all fine and dandy the, the, the posters thing is great because it just means that you can just get your juice and dollop it down the uh, down, dollop it down the middle there and you haven't really got to worry about it and then you can just crack on with your vape life i don't really get why you get a single coil option with a posters dripper do you know what i mean because you choose your single coil airflow there um but it's still it's still going in Whereas if you have a single coil, you stick it in the middle and then you can just reduce the air and it'll still come in both sides. So I, I don't know. I don't know. Someone explain the science on that one to me because I don't get it. But uh, on that one, thanks very much for watching. I've been Dean the Vaping Biker. There will be the subscribe button going under here. There'll be the last couple of videos there and there. And uh, yeah. Hopefully, I've got, a, well, I have still got a bunch of stuff to show you. Unfortunately, my time's been taken up, which I will explain to you in the vlog. Thanks very much for watching, and go out and have it large. Oh, yes. <laughs>